Mayor Pounier. Mayor, earlier in the hour, you both answered questions about illegal immigration. We have a follow-up now from a KPSP Local 2 viewer. He wants to know, quote, how does your stance on immigration reform promote the ongoing economic recovery and vitality of the 45th Congressional District, given the district's reliance on agriculture, certainly tourism, and even manufacturing industries? Thanks, Chris. My, my plan, actually, for undocumented workers is to create an opportunity. You, you have a supply and demand issue here, or folks wouldn't be here. Let's not forget, when Ms. Bill Nomat took office, there were five, five million undocumented workers. There are now almost 11 million. So on her watch, she certainly hasn't done anything to improve the situation. There are hard people that want to work here, and there are companies that want to hire them. We need to find the companies that want to hire them. But we also need to make sure, make sure that folks can and will, that should be here working, can. And so you have to do a background check and a medical check. And there, there is certainly a demand here. And that's why just pulling your head in the sand, blaming the president for every single thing over 12 years is just wrong. Stand up and be a leader. Talk to folks on both sides of the issue because it is such an important issue. That's not happening here on this specific item. And I will do that from day one. From day one, I will, immigration reform will be a part of my, my campaign. Got great ideas. I've talked to great people. We create an employment center through the system. And you know what? It will work. Both sides of the aisle will be very happy and actually will get something done instead of blaming others, which is wrong with Washington. Congresswoman, you have a 60-second rebuttal, please. Oh, thank you. I, first of all, I, I think sometimes that the only green that this mayor is is green with envy. He wants a political job so badly that he's willing to say anything to get it. Just like President Obama, who promised immigration reform would one of, be one of the first things that he tackled, he didn't. You know, this is today. We can talk about this, this administration, this president today, because these things matter today. They really do. But let me talk specifically again about my belief in a non-amnesty, robust guest worker program. I have talked for years and years with the growers out in the, uh, actually not only the growers out in, in the Coachella area, but down in, in uh, Temecula, Murrieta, out of the wine country, all over the place. And I've always heard from them how important it is that we have a labor force that can meet their needs. But you know, I remember when Sonny and I had the restaurant up, on, up at the Riviera Hotel. Uh, I remember very clearly what it was like to try to hire somebody to do that job. We needed E-Verify then, we need it now. I'm sorry, but my 30 seconds, I mean my minute goes by so quickly. I see that light. 